How to create a token in Solana with liquidity pools for trading. First, we will need to download and install a couple of things. This link list will be here at sol22.versal.app and also in the description. So, for step one, you have to install things like the Phantom Wallet that you can download from this link here, phantom.com. Just click here and install the extension, create your account, then you should have something like this. Also install Node.js from this link, node.js.org, click the download button and install it. And finally open the Solana CLI link. And for this one, depending on your OS, for example on Windows, just run these two commands. This one basically downloads an executable file and the second one is to run that installer. So let's follow the steps. First, we have to open a command prompt console terminal as administrator. So I'll open the Windows menu, search CMD and click here, execute as admin. Then copy the first command, go to the console again, paste it and hit enter. With a moment perfect now this other command to run the installer we do the same copy paste and done when it says press enter to continue do that and finally you can test that all of this worked successfully by doing this last command so type solana dash dash version and enter as you can see it shows a valid number so let's close this terminal since we have the CLI now and for the last requirement you'll need to download this github repository that I wrote these scripts will call the blockchain to update the name and image of the token you will be creating this software will provide the data to be shown in the wallets and blockchain explorers like this so Go to the GitHub link and click this green button, then download zip over here and extract it when it's done. Now that all that is ready, we can go to the command list. At the command list, let's start with the first one, npm i. Copy it, then let's open a new command terminal inside the sol22 main folder you downloaded and extracted earlier like this right click and open terminal then paste the command press enter and wait once you see found zero vulnerabilities it's done so we can continue with the second command but let's clear the terminal first with clear and enter and let's check the second command node secret gen js private key what this will do is generate a file called keeper.json based on the private key of your phantom wallet first copy and paste the command in the terminal but you have to edit it before pressing enter you need to add your actual private key. So go to your phantom wallet, profile, settings, account management, select the one you want, then click show private key, put your password, select Solana and continue and copy this value. Remember not to share this private key since it's like the password of your wallet. Now, going back to the terminal, you will replace what you copied from the private key here. So, let's delete this. Remember to leave the space in between. Right click or shift insert to paste. And now we'll have this command. Node, secret JS, and a bunch of letters and numbers. Now, run the second command. So you can now hit enter. And when you see the message, successfully created keeper json this will have generated the file in the same folder 
which will be used for the next commands and transactions, which will eventually create the token. Remember, you need some Solana balance to run the next commands. So send some sold to the public address of the wallet you selected. I'm going to send $5, which should cover for all steps. Great, let's keep going. The third command sets up the Solana CLI configuration to use that newly generated file. So copy the command number three, Solana config set dash U space M, which means to deploy to mainnet. And this part at the end specifies the name of the file for your account's private key, which you already know is keeper.json. So go to the terminal, paste the command, hit enter and when we see commitment as confirmed we're good now that the initial config is done let's continue copy the fourth command to create the actual token spl token create token program id and then this code which represents how solana makes their tokens if you google it it should return a bunch of official Solana Token 22 results, as you can see. Open the terminal, paste the command, and press enter. Wait a few seconds, and now you should see here your new token address. This is the most important code for the token, so make sure to save it. It's crucial that you save this new token address to continue with the next commands. And also, before the fifth command, we have to update a file inside the Sol22 folder first, which is the environment file. Find a file called .env example and rename it to just .env. Then open it with a notepad or something similar. And this is where you have to paste your new token address that you saved before. So just replace this with your own token address. And also let's take a look at this metadata URI field. So open this link, sol 22 versal app slash metadata.json. This is how you can update the name, symbol, and image of the token. Let's see the difference between name and symbol. For example, if you open the phantom wallet, you can see that this main token label is Solana which is the name, but the symbol is just SOL, S-O-L, meaning it's kind of the abbreviation of the name. The metadata file has to be online. For the tutorial, let's use one of the templates that I uploaded to SOL22 Versal App. First, select a metadata JSON file. Let's use one from the example list that I have generated here at the website. Let's take yes. This will create a new token called YesCoin. If you click this option and open it, you can see the details. So copy the URL, sol 22 versal app gen y metadata underscore yes dot json. Go to the notepad with the open dot env file again and paste the correct metadata URI value of the JSON you selected. In my case, it's this one. And for this scenario, the image is a generic coin image emoji that I set as default for all templates for now. Again, located in the same base URL, sol 22 versal app, then slash image.png. You can upload your own metadata JSON file with a custom image to any website, server, or hosting you want, and use that JSON as URI and image instead. Now we're done with the environment file and we can proceed to run the fifth command node token 00.js copy paste it press enter wait once we see success it should have created the metadata now onto the next command which is pretty much the same node token 22.js press enter and wait again once we see success it should have updated everything on the blockchain next command this one sets up the token account protocol for sending and receiving the coin. SPL token, create account, then your token address. Copy paste it, replace address, and run. And finally, the last step, the reward. Pay yourself some new tokens with this last command. SPL token, mint, 
token address and the amount. Again, replace the token address text with your own code and the last value is the amount of coins that you will receive in your wallet. In this case, I'll put 20,000 and press enter and that's pretty much it. You now have sent yourself some freshly created tokens of your new coin. Let's open the phantom wallet to check it out. Scroll down and perfect. Here at the end, the yes coin. And I have exactly 20,000 of it. Let's look at the token on a Solana blockchain explorer. To copy the token address, go to Google and search Solana Explorer. Paste the address here and select the first option. And as you can see, we have the token page with the correct name, symbol and image. And we can also test sending some tokens to another wallet. There you go. Our own balance is less than before. It's no longer 20,000. So we did spend some. And if we go to the other phantom account, you can see it has 339, which is the amount that I sent before. And if we go to the Explorer again and refresh the page, the last transaction is the one that I just made to send the tokens to the other wallet a few seconds ago. And here you see the exact amount, 339. Now, anyone in a Solana blockchain can now send, receive and hold your coin. Finally, one last very important step is setting up a liquidity pool for people to buy or trade your coin. Let's enable this feature using a popular website called fluxbeam.xyz. Just go to this URL at the create liquidity pool section and add your token address at the end. Now in this page, connect your wallet. Then at this input where your token is shown, add some of your coins. For example, I'll add half, 10,000. Then over here, a bit of Solana to balance the price. Let's put 0 0.001 instead for testing. And this is the calculation that tells you the would be initial selling price. So click create pool and confirm the transaction. Then wait a moment and you're done. If you go to the swap section here in the left sidebar, you will get your public trading link. This is where users can come to buy your token, which will in turn make the price go up. You can now use this token in many ways, from a website or a Telegram mini app or even in web games. If you want to know how to use this coin for all of that, we have more tutorials on how to add a connect your wallet button to all of your sites and show the amount of tokens the user has along other details which give way to implement features like restricting access with a minimum balance for users, giving perks to some holders or even AI agent token control. For more information, go to our channel WebPOV or follow my X account at WebTuna for daily tips on Web3 and game development.